So this is the assembly guide to my automatic blind controller, which is a 3D printed Arduino based and Alexa compact controllable um, device. So here it Echo. is. In Turn use. off the office blinds. I'll upload a separate video uh, showing how to set it up uh, using Alexa. So first assemble the parts required. I'll put a list um, in the in the details below. So first thing when you uh, get your 3D printed parts is to uh, countersink the screw holes and then you're going to sand them down and so use some fine coarse sandpaper to ensure you get a nice fit inside the surround should spin quite freely uh, you may need to use a multi-tool just to open up the hole at the center of the gear so that it fits nicely on the gear spindle. Here it is in place. The Arduino is held in place using either screws, uh, the wrist holes for screws, or I just find it easier to use hot glue, a small dab in each corner. Uh, then you want to assemble the uh, gear surround onto the motor. Using some N3 bolts. And then again place the gear onto the spindle. Don't worry if it doesn't line up to the countersink screw on the side. Then find the correct bolts to connect the gear surround to the housing. Uh, I've used a clamp just to just to hold that in place while I'm threading those screws. Remember not to do them up too tightly. You will ruin the thread. Um, then you'll want to connect um, all the cables up. Um, you can use the schematic here. Uh, also I'll provide details elsewhere as in the comments below. Once it's all connected power it up and then you want to manually spin. It's a bit fiddly but you want to, man to manually spin um, until the counter or till the grub screw um, hole lines up with with the slot on the gear surround um, and that way you can access it with, a, with an allen key so that you can fit your grub screw and tighten it up to make sure that the gear doesn't slip on the spindle. Assemble the rest of the main unit so you've glued everything in place, you've attached the buttons, LEDs have gone through the holes and again use a clamp um, to uh, screw the whole thing together. Add the rest of the parts so the um, gear cover Just uses two more M3 screws. Connect the power and test. So here I'm just testing the motion, the forward and backwards motion of the motor by holding each button down. and then you want to connect it up so here I temporarily connected it to my uh, it's not attached to my wall but I've uh, used a clamp to temporarily put it in place I'm threading the cable through for the blind and then you want to make the tension nice and tight and then here I'm giving it a test with the remote control and that's it